Defense Minister Manohar Parker questioned the loyalty of those who doubted the army and sought proof of surgical strikes across the LOC, even as he made it clear that there is no need to give out any video of the operation. Describing the cross LOC operation as 100% perfect surgical strike, he said, the borders of the country are secure under the Narendra Modi government. India again appeals to the United Nations to act promptly in proscribing Masood Azhar as a global terrorist. Ministry of External Affairs says it will send a dangerous message if the United Nations fails to act. MEA further says Pakistan has once again self-implicated itself by hailing Buran Wani in Pakistani parliament. Army foils an infiltration bill in Nagam sector along the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. Four terrorists gunned down. In another encounter, security forces eliminate three terrorists in Langat area of Handwara. Huge cache of arms and ammunition recovered. Boosting telecommunication services, India's latest communication satellite GSAT-18 was launched successfully by a heavy-duty rocket of Arian Space from the spaceport of Kuru in French Guiana. Television, telecommunication, VSAT and digital satellite news gathering are a few of the services that GSAT-18 will support in the coming days. President Pranam Mukherjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated ISRO on the successful launch of GSAT-18. President Pranam Mukherjee inaugurated the first edition of the World Sustainable Development Summit on the theme Beyond 2015, People, Planet and Progress, organized by the Energy and Resources Institute in New Delhi. Speaking on the occasion, the President said that the threat of climate change is real and immediate, concerns the whole world and its ill effects are all pervasive. Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Khan says, Vision documents for 15 years, strategy for 7 years and action plan for 3 years on Prime Minister's direction is being prepared says these will be released by January, February next year and will cover all sectors of the economy, path-breaking and will redefine the nation. External Affairs Minister Shishma Sparaj met the families of 39 Indians taken hostage by ISIS in June 2014 from Mosul in Iraq. This is the 10th meeting between Shishma Sparaj and the families since the abduction of the Indians from the war-torn country. Speaking to the media after the meeting, the External Affairs Minister said that the government has information that Indian nationals captive in Iraq are alive and it was making all efforts to secure their release. For the first time ever to assist foreign tourists, the Tourism Ministry has launched a helpline number 1363. The helpline will provide assistance in 12 languages to tourists coming to India and in case they face any problem while in India. Union Agriculture Minister Radha Mohan Singh announced the successful completion of ENAM first phase and launched ENAM mobile app in New Delhi. Speaking on the occasion, the minister announced that most of the implementation issues faced in the pilot phase have been addressed and ENAM platform is connected to 250 markets across 10 states as of now. Urban Development Minister Venka Naidu today inaugurated the 21st Annual Convention and National Seminar on Towards Building Smart and Sustainable Infrastructure in Urban Development in New Delhi. Addressing the gathering, the Minister said that ensuring safety, speed, accountability and citizens' partnership are musts while building and redeveloping urban infrastructure in the country. Home Minister Rajnath Singh met the visiting Minister for Justice and Police of Swiss Federation, Simonetta Somaruga, in New Delhi. The Home Minister said India looks forward for cooperation with Switzerland on the issue of exchange of tax information since the black money issue is the main corruption issue which needs to be tackled. Commerce and Industry Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has said that steps have been taken to sort out the implementation issues related to SEPA and improve bilateral trade as well as trade balance with Japan. Speaking at the seminar on promoting India's exports to Japan under India-Japan SEPA and release of RIS report on India-Japan SEPA in New Delhi, she said Japan is one of the closest and most reliable trade partners of India. United Nations Chief Ban Ki-moon has said that the Paris Agreement on climate change will enter into force on November 4, as enough countries have signed on to the landmark accord to bring it to the emissions threshold that will trigger its implementation. BCCI has announced the one-day team for the first three ODIs against New Zealand. The selection committee selected the 15-member squad for the home series against the Kiwis. Raina returns to the fold, even as off-spinner R. Ashwin, pacer Mohamed Shami and all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja were given a break. BCCI faced the Supreme Court's wrath for its defiant attitude in implementing the directions of the Justice R.M. Lodha committee to reform cricket in the country. The Apex Court decided to pass an order on the issue of implementation of directions of the committee headed by former Chief Justice of India Lodha tomorrow 
after the BCCI declined to give an unconditional undertaking by tomorrow.